What's going on you guys? This is a Max Kid. Yeah, I have another Dale Inspire on 660. This is the mini tower and will be upgrades. So first you're gonna do is remove the thumb screw, I'll leave the WT screws in the back, use a Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start off from the hard drive right here. You can disconnect the SATA and power cable and remove the hard drive caddy plastic and I'm going to be upgrading at least uh, one terabyte And I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade to solid state drive. So I'm going to go ahead and sh disconnect the cables now. Remove the 3.5 inch hard drive. And using the this caddy, it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. And you can use any solid state drive you want. It's for Dell. So you're gonna install a solid state drive like this and it clips in and it just installs And you're gonna connect back the SATA and power cable directly to solid state drive. Just like that and you're done. And they still guys the other caddy, like caddy right here, it's a similar one. So you can install actually up to two 2.5 inch laptop or solid state drives 2.5 inch right here. The sale is online for Dell. 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch caddy. So guys, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys maybe upgrading the memory. So I'm gonna got to remove this clips right here. And DDR3 1333 or DDR3 1600 90cc on buff for memory for a desktop. And when the memory installed properly, you're gonna hear two clicks. Dual channel. Now I'm gonna go upgrade the video card. To do that, there's a clip right here. A little latch, latch right here, you stick your finger with it gently, press it down. And you're gonna remove the PCI brackets. Cause it's gonna be, it's using the two PCI slots. So I'm gonna move the two PCI brackets right here. Zoom in the camera. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, the video card I'm gonna be using is uh, it's a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. And this is a low profile, and they come with both with a low profile bracket for the small form factor and the mini tower. You get the full size bracket for it. And the power supply you don't have to upgrade. It's a really great, if you're going to be upgrading the power supply, I'll do a separate video, but this power supply will work fine. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it like this, so you guys can see better. And we're going to be installing the video card through PCI Express Time 16 slot, the top one right here. Now you can put the latch back on. And you're done. Hey guys, this has been in the video, so I'll do upload the separate video for the teardown, disassembly, and the power supply upgrade. I'll upload the be separate video also. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in the monitor directly to the video card and get the latest drivers. You're gonna be installing Windows 10 64-bit. The memory upgrade is 8 gigs dual channel. So I'm gonna put the side cover panel back on.
So guys, thanks for watching. Bye.